Good evening and welcome back once again. Massive match today against Barcelona at home in the league. Maybe not as big as his previous years because they're only fifth in the league, I believe. The team we're going to go in with is Xerxes up top with Mudrik and Bajer alongside him. Herrera, Cousins and Fabio Vieira in midfield. Baca and McDowell on the wingbacks with Ogbonna and Kosinu in defence. And Schubert in goal. Still a massive match though at home against the mighty Barcelona. We're top of the league. I believe we're 10 points ahead now. And Barcelona have they've had a tough few weeks. They got knocked out of the cup. They're going further and further down the league. But they've still got some absolute star players in their squad and in their first lineup. So it's definitely going to be a tough match. And we haven't actually played pairs in a while. I probably said that in the last video as well. The, the, the last two videos I recorded in one go. And um, then we've had a gap because we've been playing Resident Evil 4. I've had a lot of work and other things going on as well. But mainly been focusing on Resident Evil 4 because I'm enjoying it so much. And I had quite a, a number of PES videos. Oh, hang on. And it's 1-0. What a lovely finish that was. A lovely flow and move. Pierre plays the 1 2 with Xerxes. Nice little pass. Bad defending. Look at that little ding finish off the post. Yeah, number 12 for Barcelona there. Is that Alonso? I think it is. Court laps in, in concentration. Couldn't ask for a better start. Yeah, so I had a, 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 not a backlog, but I've got a lot of videos that I've bulk recorded in many times. And um, I think I've got about three or four weeks already edited, uploaded to YouTube, sitting there ready to go. I'm actually recording, I think it's, what, the 6th of April today, I think it is. Ah, oh, that was supposed to be for Mudrik, not for Goussons. Yeah, it's about the 6th of April today. It's either the 6th or 7th, I can't remember. Um, and I've got videos out until the 1st of May at the moment, so it shows you how far ahead I am being quite organised. So being able to give myself a little bit of a break, sometimes if I'm not really in the mood to record... And like I say, Resident Evil 4 is so good. I'm currently on chapter 11. I think there's 16 chapters, so I'm about two thirds of the way through. It's absolutely brilliant. By the time you get to watch this match, probably be about four or five episodes into it on my channel. It's every Sunday, Resident Evil 4. Oof, good save. Well, not great defending there. Chance for a counter now, though. Zixi. Not really anyone in support massively. Now there is. Now back at... Oh, nice ball. Oof. How didn't... Uh, Baka get on that? Was it Baka or was it Mudrik? Could both got blonde hair. Nice play there. And Mudrik. In for Martinelli today. What a replacement you can bring in. Cousins. Decent block. Cousins again. Sixy. Easily blocked. Fiera. Oh, comfortable save from Sergio. I think to Stegen's it's uh, Real Madrid, I think. I think that's where he is. Um, nice play at Cousins there. Oh, lovely play. Oh, lovely goal again. Another 1-2. Passing was slick. D 
didn't have much room to work with. Timer was just right. Look at that. Look at all those defenders. Just missed it there. Just missed it there. Three defenders couldn't stop them. And Martinelli, who's been, well, probably the best signing we've made in terms of value, overall, rating, and the impact he's had as well. You know, resting him today and being able to bring on Mudrik, it's, it's so good. Because Mudrik is probably the biggest star signing before Martinelli. Doesn't necessarily mean he was the most influential player, but he's magnificent. Oh. Good save. Mudrik had a very similar impact to Martinelli uh, when he first joined. And that was in a January as well. That's a foul. But 2 0 up inside the first half. And Mudrik's now second choice on that left wing position, which is quite scary to show you how, how far we've come with our squad depth. Nice idea. It didn't quite come off, but we've got it back anyway. Cousins. Now Herrera. Zixi. Oh, good save. Very good save. It's a pretty good corner. Back I get there. Not quite. It didn't really look like a foul. It looked like a 50-50, but never mind. And I think I mentioned it in the past couple of videos, or at least one of them, that I'm thinking of changing things up with the channel a little bit, not massively. Still going to be lots of pairs. But I am thinking of changing the way I do it. And um, I'm thinking, because let me concentrate. Yeah, oh, what a finish that was from Lewandowski. Lapse in concentration for me. Should have cleared it there. Should have cleared it again. And there's only one outcome there. Just before half time, really bad timing. It's never a good time to let in a goal. I know that's one of those typical phrases like there's good times to score and bad times to score and all of that, but it's not really. But you know, if you can get into half time and it's 2 0, maybe one last chance. No, still good first half 58% possession. All of our shots were on target. Right before the end, that killer blow. But what I was saying about mixing up the channel, potentially just a little bit, is currently I have pairs Monday to Saturday every night, and each episode is one match. There's no, well, there's no real editing. There's no editing of the actual. Oh, good save. All of the actual gameplay is kept in. The only time I do edit is before the match, after the match. Um, half time substitutions I do a few little edits every single match I do that do it the same and part of the reason why I have it every night off the bar hang on let me get this clear first that's not a foul that has oh, these referees are so awful Because if that results in a goal, it's still going to go off a corner. So infuriating, the referees. That literally know any other player cleanly got the ball. Ah, 
that was a foul. Oh no. No, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? I can't bring my player. Why won't it let me bring my player back? Wouldn't let me bring my player back. And for once, they didn't actually score from it. Under the cosh here. I can't even talk about what I was going to say about the channel. Anyway, so yeah, what I was thinking of doing is potentially only having pairs three nights a week instead of six by having two games per episode. So it's the same amount per week. Cousins! Ah, oh, straight to the keeper. And that would leave me two free days. So, oh, hang on. Ah, Vieira, man. Got a back, though. Sexy. Sexy again. Ambushair, 3 1. Sorry, it wasn't Bajer, it was Vieira. Nice hold up play from TXE. Mudra gets it back to him. Thought about potentially work my way for a shot, but did a little back click. Lovely little pass. He's done a few of them recently. Really nice. And Vieira's in there. A really clever finish. We'll make some subs the next time the ball goes out. And if I did do two games per episode, I would then have to decide whether I'm going to do more editing. So cut down some of the games and just have the main points, goals, chances, etc. Or if I don't want to do that, the episodes will just be longer. They'll not be quite double the length, but they'll be close to that. Because obviously the, the intros and the outros won't be doubled. Here's Bajet. Oh, that was poor. Poor pass there. Good tackle from Kosanu. This one's now Vieira. No, it was a poor pass. Like, Vieira really didn't... Couldn't do anything with that. Here's Kosanu. Kosanu going for it. Oh, straight at the keeper. Looks like we're not going to have really time to make subs, so we're not going to do that today. Once it gets past that sort of 65-minute mark, and the ball hasn't even gone out yet anyway, it's past 70 now. Really don't want to make subs, because the, the ones you bring on don't really get much experience or any if it gets past a certain point it's a free kick yeah so my estimation would be maybe the the videos the pez videos would be about 30 to 35 minutes long if i don't really do too many more edits than i do now so i'm not sure yet i'll have to think and if I do it, oh, that's poor. Again. If I am going to change it up, then what I would do is wait until I finish this season and, and start a new season afresh with the new sort of schedule. So I was thinking maybe Monday, Wednesday and Friday nights. Sunday would still have... Resident Evil 4 or uh, or and other playthroughs when that ends so whatever game I'm going to do after that still don't know what that's going to be that could be on Sundays and that leaves me the other two free days say it is Tuesday and Thursday for me to either have days off from uploading or uploading random one-off videos um, maybe VOD uploads so if I do a live stream on Twitch I can upload the VODs on maybe those days Come on, chance for a counter here. Of course, I've got tired legs. Lovely ball to Mudrik. Now Xerxes. Xerxes. Good save. 
had to take it then, I think, for sure. Because I've got tired legs and the longer you leave it, chances are you're going to get tackled or at least being put off from the shot. Not being at our best, we've probably because I'm too busy talking. We've done some sloppy passes sometimes, and obviously we're letting the goal. It was a very good goal. Um, well, not from our point of view, I suppose. Yeah, a lovely tackle there. Sexy. Oh, I could have passed it to Mudrick. Just as I was about to shoot, I realised he was there, but it was too late. Nicely cleared. Not so nicely cleared. That pass was very weak. Nice tackle there. Maybe a chance for one more. Potentially the last basically kick of the game. Oh, that was a thumping challenge. I mean, it probably should be a free kick. And there it is, full time, magnificent win against Barcelona. In the end, the possession was pretty much split. All of our shots were on target, which is good. And man of the match was Xerxes. He wouldn't say no to that, wouldn't disagree with that. He held up the ball well, scored, um, but very good all round performance. And as you can see, we're still 10 points clear of Atletico Madrid. Barcelona have now slipped down to six. They're really not doing well. They're only a few points away from fourth spot, but that's still really below their standards. Next match is in the Copa del Rey. Hope you can join us for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.